Did you know that modeling in the 1950s had no restrictions when it came to underage models? This is something that would be considered unfathomable today. However, 70 years ago, the modeling world was even harsher on women than it is today. And this is part of the fascinating story of Marie Devereaux. Before we get started on today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Plus, if you leave a comment saying, I subscribed, we're going to do our best to leave a personal reply. Born in the middle of two world wars. Marie Devereaux was born in possibly the most difficult time in the world. Her real name is Patricia Sutcliffe. She was born November 27, 1940 in Edmonton, London. She was born into a poor family that was struggling even more in the aftermath of World War I. Her mother was a store assistant and her father was a post office clerk. Now, few people had any money to spend in the aftermath of World War I, which means that her parents' jobs were not just uncertain, they were also not particularly necessary at the time, making their salaries abysmal. As if this wasn't bad enough, World War II was slowly developing, and it was definitely not a good time for Marie and her family. They had to deal with food shortages, short water supplies, no electricity for long periods, and almost no new clothes. No education opportunities for Marie. By the time Marie was five years old, a time when she should have been prepping for preschool, World War II had just ended. London was mostly destroyed. Supplies were not able to reach people and the water supply was contaminated. Not only did this present a horrible childhood for Marie, but it also meant that she would not be able to go to any school anytime soon. No matter how hard her parents worked to try and teach her to read and basic math, they simply didn't have enough free time to help her. The result was an entire generation of children in London who would not be able to attend school and who would severely miss out on any kind of education. On one hand, they were glad to be alive, but on the other hand, the battle of survival was only just getting started. The Start of Magazine Models Although magazine models were already present before the World Wars, it was now, in the aftermath of everything that happened, that people were looking for a sense of relief. Models, singers, Actors were an important part of bringing happiness and some sense of humor back to the English people. Marie had seen many of these models in magazines and her parents seemed to comment on them in a positive light all the time. So it was during this period that her parents were developing an idea, something that might help their family live a better life, turn Marie into one of those models. Now Marie was extremely beautiful and had her own unique charm, something that many other models lacked. Despite everything that she went through, she was a happy teenager who loved to play in nature and talk to people. At the age of just 14, her parents asked her if she would like to pursue a career in modeling. Marie agreed, but none of them were ready for what was to be required. First photo shoot and difficult times. For a short period of time, Marie received a few photo shoot opportunities. Most of them were for clothes, food, or toys for teenagers. However, these jobs paid very little. So little, in fact, that it cost her parents more money to get her to a photo shoot than the job actually paid. Soon, Marie was offered a more serious job, a nude photo shoot. She was still only 14 and very much underage for this kind of business. However, there seemed to be no other option. Her parents could no longer pay their bills, there was very little food on the table, and any medical costs could absolutely not be afforded by the family. So Marie decided to go ahead with the nude photo shoot. It was psychologically damaging for such a young child, and Marie was understandably confused about what was happening and why she needed to take her clothes off in the first place. Directors would often yell at her to be more sexy, but at such a young age, Marie had no idea what this meant. The job was completed and the family was paid, but the trauma of the experience as well as the experience of future nude photo shoots would haunt Marie forever. The Beginning of Movie Roles Slowly, the photo shoots turned into movie opportunities. Marie was glad to have a change, of course, from the nude photo shoots and accepted every movie role wholeheartedly. Her first role was at the young age of 18 in the movie The Woman Eater. Marie played a young woman who was quickly eaten by the woman eater, and of course, she was expected to be sexy throughout the entire ordeal. Now, this role was soon followed by other low-budget horror movie roles such as Grip of the Strangler, The Stranglers of Bombay, and The Brides of Dracula. Although the jobs were not inspiring for Marie, at least they were bringing a more or less stable income to her family. Her parents were able to pay their bills and more food was available. London was slowly getting back on its feet and people were now more willing to spend money on movie tickets. Moving to the United States 
In the 1960s, the movie industry was growing. However, England did not have the large movie budget that the United States had because much of the country's money was spent on trying to rebuild hospitals, bridges, buildings, schools, and government centers. In search of a better life, Marie moved to the United States. Of course, she moved straight to California since this state is the home of Hollywood. She worked small jobs as a waitress between the many auditions that she took and was barely able to survive for the first year of her life in California. Luckily, she did have a few connections in the industry from her previous jobs, so she was finally able to land a few more movie roles. Now, some of her new movie roles included His and Hers, Dentist on the Job, Cleopatra, and The Naked Kiss. Her roles remained small in all of these movies, and the pay was abysmal. Above it all, women were treated poorly in Hollywood and expected to only be sexy and please the directors and producers of the industry. Marie did her best to fit in, but the traumas of her past were still too raw and difficult to handle. Giving up dreams, settling down. In the 1970s, Marie had had enough of Hollywood and being looked down on by men. The Naked Kiss was her final appearance on the big screen before she decided to slowly take a step back from it all. Her parents had passed away back in London a few years later. She was not able to see them again or attend their funeral because the ticket prices were too expensive for her to afford. She did a few more nude photo shoots in Hollywood to gather money for her uncertain future and then moved to Meridian, Idaho. For public records, her story ends here. It is thought that Marie may have gotten married at some point and perhaps had a child. However, there is no information to confirm this. The most distressing thing is how a young woman was poorly treated in her youth, left with trauma and fear of the world, and then forgotten. We do know that Marie Devereaux passed away in Meridian, Idaho, December 30th, 2019. We can only hope that her life was peaceful and happy in her later days. So what did you think of Marie's story? Have you seen any of her movies? Let us know in the comments below, and check out the next video in this series.